Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And today's video, we have a bit of a departure from the normal aircraft video. Instead, we're gonna be taking a look at a new function coming to the mission editor, and that's the draw tool. So the draw tool is listed here at the bottom of the toolbar, we'll hit draw. And now we have the draw panel here on the right side. At the top, we have uh, five functional select buttons, select, line, polygon, text box, and icon. Uh, below that, we have our layers, and you can think of it much like a uh, PSD file, where we can turn on and off different layers of a graphic to work on it. Uh, below that, we have the different layers listed, which are called objects. And then finally, at the very bottom, we have the ability to turn on and off those layers uh, for view based on the observer. So let's take a look at the, uh, the first, and that's a line. And we have three different types of lines. We have segments, which are composed of uh, multiple line elements. Then we have a single segment, and we have freeform. Uh, let's do the most basic, it's segment. And to place a line, we'll simply uh, left click and hold the mouse button, drag it where we want, and release. And you'll notice that we have uh, white boxes at both ends, and we can simply click and hold on those and reposition as we wish. We can give the uh, line a name. We'll call it a flot. We can adjust the color. Right now it's defaulted to red, but we can go ahead and say, make it blue. We can adjust the thickness, either with the arrows here or just type it in. Then we have the style. And here we have solid, dot, dashed, cross, square, and triangles. We'll do a triangle. And now we'll notice here at the object list, we have the first one listed here at the bottom as flot. Pretty straightforward. Let's go to polygons now. And here we have circles, ovals, rectangles, free form, and arrows. Probably the most common one you use is going to be rectangles. So let's try one of those. So we'll click on rectangle. We'll draw it where we want by holding down the left mouse button and dragging it and release. Again, we have the uh, white corner markers that we can use to adjust it further if we wish. Let's give it a name. About, uh, EA1 for engagement area. Then we can adjust the angle of its rotation. So we can either use the arrows here to adjust it, or again, we can just type it in, say 45 degrees. We can adjust the outside line thickness. Then again, we have style of solid dot, dash, cross, square, and triangle. Let's make this dashed. And below that, we have the fill inside the box. So it's, again, default to the red, but we have the default colors here. You can adjust your own using RBG values. And at the bottom, you have A for the alpha channel. And you can use that to adjust the transparency or just remove the fill altogether. Let's go to uh, text now. And this is probably uh, pretty straightforward at this point. So we'll click on where we want the text, say in the middle of the box here. We'll give the list name, say EA1 again. And we'll give it a name of gun. We can adjust the font size. The angle again, say 45. The color. The thickness of the outside box. The fill. Again, I'm going to go ahead and actually remove the fill altogether. And we have a little white. Uh, square here again, and we can actually go ahead and readjust that there. And then finally, we have uh, the icons. So we'll place it where we want, say up here. We'll give it a name. Angle. Again, we can either type it in or use the arrows. The color, set it to blue. The scale of how big it's going to be, make it a bit bigger, maybe a little too big. That looks good. And then of course we have some preset icons available at uh, release, but we'll add some more over time as well. We'll keep it as a uh, armor symbol for now. And you can see again that we have uh, the different uh, layers that we created here. And if we want to, we could take tank and we can just you know lower down in the list as well. So folks, that's a little overview of the draw tool. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks.